So we uploaded our SVG to the Clunder and we got our return emails and let's assume that everything went fine. Now, if you got errors, just let's watch these videos. We're going to have uh, a couple videos on the errors that you might see a little bit later on. Um, but just follow through these so you can at least look what a normal return looks like. Okay. So back in here, let's go to my email. So we have our our folder was shared. It was processing. Sometimes, just to let you know, see the, your SVG is online to be processed. Sometimes things happen so quick. There were no no other people's files being processed. So sometimes these come out of order. So just to let you know, okay, these two emails. But this says successfully meshed your SVG. I'm going to click on that. And it says the course Google Drive URL download your file is here. So I'm going to click on that. And it opens up my file share and you can see in here i've got uh i got a debug folder nothing we're going to come back to that in another video but we've got two files here one is our cut file and one is our mesh file ultimately the one we're going to work on is our mesh file the cut one can come in useful for troubleshooting um so we're going to look at that one later on but we're more like concerned about this mesh.blend file i'm going to come over here and i'm going to click download Click download anyway and you can see now that that's downloaded it's in my downloads folder I can click on it up here and if you have blender installed correctly which you should have done at the beginning of this series uh, it'll open up and now you can see I can in this video here or in this section I'm going to do allow execution um, and that's going to enable the OPCD script functionality to run so I'm going to hit allow execution now I'm going to give you a little quick rundown on Blender, but you should take a Blender tutorial. Um, however, to move around here, I'm going to hit Shift and Tilda. Okay, and when I do that, I now have free look with my mouse. And now I can use the Q, W, E, A, S, D keys to move around. So if I click W, I move forward. And then if I hit Shift W, it's fast. Now, if I want to make it faster, I'm using my scroll wheel. And if I use my scroll wheel, I'm increasing the speed of that option. Okay. So now I'm using W and S to move around here. And you can see looking around that everything cut correctly. So this is good. And you're going to say, well, I'm going to show you what not cutting correctly looks like. But the bottom line is everything looks nice and smooth. I don't have any weird dead footing and you'll see what dead footing here is in a second but dead footing you'll see all kinds of artifacting going on if there's dead fighting there are my bunkers and you get the first look at blends so these pink areas here that they're going around that's a blend that gets added as far as the uh process move around here a little bit more go down here there's my green on my hole 10. There's the key boxes on hole 11, more bunkers, and more green. And you can see everything at this point is really flat because we haven't conformed anything to our terrain. That's okay. We're going to do that later. Okay, not yet. I just wanted you guys to get something through Clender successfully at this point. Um, so you can see what a good uh, mesh file looks like. In the next video is I'm going to show you what a bad mesh file looks like and what you might run into, okay?